Hey, thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this video. It is Wednesday, September 9th. This is your CRC update. I'm Pastor Chip Sauer. Wanted to add a little addition to these updates because all of you have been clamoring to know more about what's in my office. What you see behind me is my office. And so I'm going to share each week a little bit about some of what's in my office. And I want to start today by a gift that I received from Bob and Noreen Jolliffe that shows how deeply they care because they gave me this beautiful Minnesota coffee cup. And what I typically have in this coffee cup is caribou coffee with a little Irish cream from International House Creamer. So encourage you in the comments below, if you want to click on the comments, let us know what coffee I should try next, or maybe what your favorite kind of coffee is, or maybe you're one of those anti-creamer people, and you'll express that very clearly. Thank you for taking a few minutes to watch this video. I want to give you a few updates as to what's going on in the life of Community Reformed Church. First and foremost, just a reminder about our ongoing worship plan through the month of September. We'll be doing two services. One is at 9 a.m., and that will be online, and you can find that on our Facebook page. And the second service is offered at 10 o'clock, and that will be outside here at Community Reform Church. Bring your lawn chairs and your coffee and join us for worship here. We've been really blessed this summer with good weather, and so is as long as the weather is good, we'll continue to do that through the month of September. In the event that there's bad weather, we'll cancel that service and we'll let you know by 8 o'clock on Sunday morning. But encourage you to continue to join us in whatever way you're most comfortable with. But then come October, we're going to start our next phase of our reopening. We're going to be inside for Sunday morning worship. And we're also going to begin our Wednesday night activities, which is going to include dinner and classes for almost all ages. So uh, you're going to be finding out more about those details next week. We'll send out kind of the whole plan for reopening uh, with all the details about what that's going to look like and what we're asking you to do and participating in all of that. Um, but stay tuned for that information that's coming out next week. In addition, I want to encourage you to be in prayer for our search team and especially for helping us to find the person that God selected for us to lead us with in regards to youth. It's been a long process. We've been in this for over a year now, and we're trusting that God has a plan. We have had a few people that have come up that we've interviewed. We've actually offered the job to somebody, but they turned us down. And so we're still in that process, and we ask you to continue to pray um, for that person, for us to find, but also to continue to pray for our youth. And I'm so thankful for many people in the life of the church who are stepping up and kind of filling that void with our high school and middle school age students um, for the Doug and Sue Bowens and Doug and Leslie Nichman, for the Aaron Nichols and others who have been willing to step forward in seeking to minister to those students. And so you're going to see more about what that plan looks like for middle school and high school in the details that we're going to send out next week. But I encourage you to be in prayer regarding that. This Sunday, we're going to continue in the book of James. We're going to be in James chapter 1, verses 12 through 18. The title of the message is The Source of Temptation, and you're going to see in the text that James is real clear about where that temptation comes from. So we're going to talk about the challenge of temptation, kind of why it has such power at times in our life, and really what its source is, and especially about what does it mean for us to turn, our, to turn away from that temptation and truly live in a way that is directed by God, not by the desires at times that exist within us. So we're going to say a lot more about that on Sunday. Hope you can join us. Uh, please remember to, if there's information about in your phone numbers or emails or cell phones or address, if that changes, please let us know. We want to keep that information as up to date as we possibly can so that you can receive all the information that we're sharing about what's going on in the life of the church. So don't, if you have updated information, you can send it to Aaron in the office or to me, but just encourage you to do your part in making sure that we know how to get a hold of you. I well, hope that this week is a good week for you and just thankful for you taking a few moments to watch this and thankful for the important part that you play in the life of this community and in Community Reform Church. Have a good week.